Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. At the suggestion of Nasir, I'm here in Riften at the Thieves' Guild to talk to Delvin Mallory about upgrading our new sanctuary in Dawnstar. Greetings, thieves. Sure, we can talk in a minute. You look new. Do I know you? Yeah, you need something? Oh, I guess I do know I'm you. Sure, we'll speak again. Something I can help with, or do you just want to talk? So, Sapphire, can I do anything for you? Or more than boy. Guildmaster graces me with a visit. What can I do for you? I'm not here well, to see you. Can you repair and refit the Dawn Star Sanctuary? The Dawn Star Sanctuary? Is that where you lot are holed up? Uh, tell you what, it will cost you a lot. But I can help you out. What exactly are we talking about here? Well, I've recently come into a lot of gold, so I want the works. We'll start with new banners. Banners, huh? Try to pretty the place up. All right, you got it. All right, what's your fancy? A poisoner's nook. Yeah, that'll come in handy. An alchemy station. Maybe a little garden with some choice plants. All right, consider it done. All right. What's your fancy? I'll take a torture chamber. Uh huh. Now that's the dark brotherhood I know and love. This for business or pleasure. No, it was not matter. Right. I'll see that it gets done. It's for both, if you must know. All right. What's your fancy? I want a secret entrance in case we have to make a hasty escape. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I'm thinking a sewer grate on the outskirts of Dawnstar leads to a tunnel, dead inside. You'll be in or out, quick as a coney. Tell me what you need, and I'll get my people on it. I'll take a master bedroom, befitting someone of my stature. <laughs> Chamber fit for a king and all that. Right. Exactly. No problem. Give you a big bed. Decorate the room real nice. Maybe even throw in a few extra baubles. There's plenty more work for the likes of you. Um, why are you still? Always a pleasure, boss. What can I do? Hold for on, you? hold on. Is there anything else? I'm afraid that's it, my friend. I thought so. I've done all I can. I hope the place is at least livable now. And, uh, good luck with your... murders. There we go. Alright, thank you, Delvin. I can't wait to see the improvements. And if you ever, uh, are in the mood for murdering, you know where to find us. Remember, people, it's all right to kill. As the new Guildmaster, I give you freedom to kill as you see fit. I don't want anything, excuse me. 
Guildmaster. Good to see you. All right, I think I have something to do while I'm here. I am now the listener and leader of the Dark Brotherhood in Skyrim. It is my duty to hear the words of our unholy matron, the Night Mother, and do as she commands. So there should be a contact here in Riften. Who are you? What was that? Do your worst. Get him. Stop. Dirty. Good enough. Yes, it's all good. This should be good. You're not a member of the guild, and you do not have permission to steal in my city. Please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Is that so bad? No, it isn't, Edda. Come here. I can't take this place any... Here. Have oh, a gold piece. Divines bless your kind heart. Until next time. Someone clean up this mess, and let this be a message to anyone that dresses like a thief and tries to steal in my city. Somebody in here wants to see me. Who is it? Must be... I walked right past them. Wow. You there, wary outlaw. So you're the one from the Dark Brotherhood? I need you to kill the big laborer at Catalyst Farm. Here's the gold for the kill. Make it painful. <laughs> Is there any other way? Well, I suppose. Asks, this meeting never took place. Of course not. I suppose there are less painful ways to die. What the hell? Another one? I've got to be careful. If I hit one of the townsfolk, it'll t they'll turn on me. Uh-oh. Said, come to me. Gotcha. No, we lost Balama. No, you killed Balaman. Gotta find out where these thieves are coming from. This is terrible. Bellaman was my friend. Two thieves. Back again? What is it this time? I need you to clean up this mess and find out where these thieves are coming from. All right, let's get out of here. Fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. Catla's farm. I hope this doesn't turn out like a Commander Marrow where I fast travel directly. What the? Is this the dude here? 
by the order of the Yarl. Stop right there. What the hell? I'm with the guild. What's going on here? Is this enough to clear my bounty? I can make all your problems with the guards go away, but it'll cost you. What do you say? Yes. Clear my bounty. Done. Now move along before you get me in trouble. I don't understand. Is word of my treachery and White Run reached here? It's a good thing I'm rich. What These the hell? Vampires are becoming a real vampires too? Oh my goodness. go inside a crowded tavern. Hmm. These people make my life so difficult. What the hell? Off with your head. Now who's dead? Oh my god, Atar too? He was one of my people. Guess I'll have to take these clothes back. Remember the first time I enchanted this axe. Dark this is horrible. Safe. Two of my friends are dead. Good to see. You. I've been looking for you. Really? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. All right. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your uh, oh inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Now I've got a whole bunch of these letters. This is Narfi. I can drop that one. Yes. In the name of Jarl Elisif the Fair, it is with great regret that we inform you of Atar's death. The deceased has bequeathed unto you a measure of inheritance in the amount of 300 gold. The Jarl's court has levied an amount of 30 gold pieces from the sum as lawfully and honorfully due tax. The remainder has been commanded unto the care of a trusted courier for delivery. While all of the Jarl's court grieves with you on this day, we rejoice in the knowledge that the deceased was in possession of dear friends and wealth to communicate unto them. May this lawfully bestowed inheritance prove as a reminder of your enduring faith in one another and of the Jarl's beneficence according unto you both. No. Who else is dead? Okay, this is Amon Motier. M Motier. And who is this? Balaman. Yes. Damn. Nope. 
Sorry. Nothing. Yeah, whatever. Is this some lesson that I'm trying to be taught here? I become the leader of the Dark Brotherhood only to be surrounded by death? Where is this fool I'm supposed to kill? Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. Wait, he's not in here? What? Just... So he left while I was fighting the vampire? discreetly until I can get him alone. Of course, I'm sure these people are going to go right behind him. Of course. Yes? No. Good evening. Good evening. There are some that say the Dark Brotherhood is back, and stronger than ever. That they've made Dawnstar their home. Tell me, am I wrong? You're absolutely right, sir. As you can see, I'm partially dressed hmm? as a member there? of the Dark Brotherhood. Okay, people, yes? get the hell out of my way. Go on about your business. Hmm. Activating cloak. Wait, watch it. What the hell? There we go. Hopefully that was painful enough. It's time to get back to the Night Mother. Oh, hold on a minute. Forgetting myself. Let's see what he had on him. Oh, nothing. Beautiful view. Uh, Cicero? Cicero is at your service, oh great and powerful listener. As it should be, Babette. Close light. 
I guess he does uh, grow on you after a while. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. Speak with the unemployed laborer at the Frostproof Inn in Rorik's death. Accept his gold, then kill the target. So begins a contract bound in I'm so glad I can just drown out Cicero. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see some of these improvements in here. And who is this moaning? Oh, I think our new torture chamber. surprised to learn Cicero is alive? I still can't stomach the little clown. But if you welcome him here, I won't question it. Well, he's alive because I suspected Astrid of treachery all along. I had pieces of my memory, but not all of them. It, doesn't, it wasn't until recently that I realized how far the treachery went. But I'm glad I spared him. He's innocent. She wasn't. Look at this. This is nice. Delvin did an amazing job. Who is this? Is this my recruit? No, it's a Amazing. new initiate. Oh, you keep stirring that pot. It's good to see that the family is growing, but it, it's just not the same. I, I miss Gabriella and Festus. This is my recruit. Yes, good to see you too. Glad you're still here. Hmm. Is this your room or is this my master bedroom? Oh, I guess this is mine. What have we got in here? Hmm. One piece of gold? Oh, look at this. More, uh... More armor. Might as well get in some sleep. All right, what's it? Mo Whoa, tumbler bane gloves. What do these do? Picking. Huh. All right, it looked like these were going to be something really special. Lock picking is the least of my. Look at. What the? So we do have. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I'm yours to command. Very well. I command you to finish eating that loaf of bread. Yes, listener. Good evening. It's good to see we've got some color up in here. Have a nice day. Babette, where's the torture chamber? Cicero is alive. Yes. And we're all friends again? Yes. I swear, I can hardly keep up. 
Well, you're actually doing a great job. All right, so you really couldn't help me with the um, torture chamber, huh? Nah, Zir, where's the torture chamber? This Maybe it's through here? Starting to feel like home. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, here it is. Hello, torture victim. Why are you people doing this? Because we enjoy it. Do you have any more questions? I didn't is it think information so. You want? Oh, oh, you've got something else to say. I don't want any information. This is about the inheritance, isn't it? All right. I'll tell you where I've hidden it. Really? It wasn't about the inheritance. I don't know why you're here. I didn't it's order in your a capture. Out tree stump in the marsh, uh, south of solitude. Uh, now, please, you let me go now, right? <laughs> I'll Why don't you be a deer and let me go now. Yes, All well, right? you know, I'm not going to be a deer. Listen. Our little secret. If you keep talking, you're not going anywhere. Now I'm going to talk to Nazir. Why don't you be a deer and let me And go if now. he agrees to let All you right? go, you I are free. Say a word to anyone. Our little secret. I promise. You know what? You're talking too much. <laughs> And that's what happens to people that talk too much and get on my nerves. Let that be a lesson to all of you! I'd almost considered letting her go. I was going to leave it up to Nazir, but no, she just have to keep mouthing off! Nazir, do what you want with the rest of them. Who are you? Are you someone I haven't met? Oh, we have an orc assassin now. Welcome. Look at this. Not only do we have color, but diversity. I like it. All right, Nazir, you keep these people well trained and on a short leash. And if you want to kill the rest of the prisoners, go ahead. Alright, I'm not sure what, uh, wait, is this, let me check my, speak with the contract, but why am I being, why do I need to go back into the sanctuary, hold on. Where is this location? We're going to fast travel here to Shoal's Rest Farm. Good morning, sir. Look at that. Look at Shadow Mare. Need something? Yes, I need Shadow Mare.
as well go and see what this uh, castle-like structure is over here. It's been a while since I've just gone adventuring. Alright, so it's Bleak Wind Bluff. Alright, let's continue. good things about Astrid being dead is that I get to keep Shadowmare. <laughs> okay, wait. Am I about to be attacked again by a guard? You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? <laughs> I'm with the guild. Is this enough to clear my bounty? I can make all your problems with the guards go away, but it'll cost you. What do you say? Yes, clear my bounty. Done. Now move along before you get me in trouble. This is all stemming from that uh, fiasco at Whiterun, I'm sure. There's a lot of dead guards back there. Oh, this is Rorik's dead. Huh. Target now. Who's this man? If you're thinking of setting up to farm, you pick the right place. Your farms are thriving, even despite the harsh climate. What's your secret? Secret? What makes you think there's a secret? There are no secrets here, my curious friend. Our prosperity is simply the result of hard work, good fortune, and the blessings of the gods. How did a Breton like yourself come to dwell in Rorik's dead? Have you met Rorik? He owns these lands, and it's from him that our village gets its name. We've been friends for many years now. Rorik fought for the Empire in the Great War. He was gravely wounded, and so was brought before me. I was a healer then, you see. We were as close as kinsmen, and when Rorik returned home, I came with him. I'm happy to spend my twilight years here with my good friend. <laughs> Your twilight years. You're quite funny. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. Now, what do I do about this person over here? He's going to have to leave because I don't want to have to kill these gentlemen. We can't have witnesses. And as rich as I am, one, time, one day my gold is going to run out paying off these guards. Hmm... You know, if he would get a room or something, I could sneak in there and kill him. Guess we'll just have to sit here and wait. See what he's gonna do.
Looks like I've got a chatty target. Wow. Is he going to go back and talk some more? Oh my god, he is. Alright, let's see. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Let's wait an hour. Let's see what happens. Let's wait another hour. Oh, that man is kind of old. I was laughing at him for saying he was in his twilight years. Mm, who's this? If you've got oh, some business in Rorick, Rorick. you should start by speaking to Juan. Rorik himself. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but Juan's the one who deals with people. I'm afraid I lost my charm years ago. Did you fight in the Great War? Aye, that I did. I commanded a force of several dozen men, most of them levies from villages in this part of the hold. I damn near met my end in that war. An old merry soldier ran me through with his blade and left me for dead. Mm, I know the a feeling. Named Joanne saved my life. He's been my closest friend ever since. I tell you, that man is a miracle worker. Has the war taken a toll on your settlement and its people? Not yet anyway, though it certainly could. With most of the Hold's fighting men committed to the war, there are fewer swords to keep the road safe from brigands and wild beasts. And of course, as the war drags on and supplies run low, our ample fields and stores of food will make a tempting target for desperate men. The best we can hope for, a swift end to the conflict. The longer the war goes on, the worse it will be for all of us, I'm afraid. And I'm assuming the town of Rorikstead is named for you. Yes, that's right. Look around you. Most of the lands you see are mine. Most of this I purchased while my comrades were fighting in the south. Helping the Empire against the Aldmeri Dominion. Back then, nothing would grow here, and so the land was worthless. Now, thanks to the hard work and the gods' blessings, our farms prosper. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. All right, then. What the hell am I going to do about this mark? Are these people ever going to, like, return to their homes or go to bed or something like that? All right. I see I'm not being given much choice here. don't want to have to kill those other men. I'm just being left with no choice at all.
to me, my bow. To me, my bow. Okay, he can't be killed, really? Not another one of these. dead. <laughs> well, all right, I'm leaving. Th this, we're not getting anywhere here. So next time, we'll see if we can kill our target. Yeah.